Hi, I'm Dennis, and in this video, I want to explain you how to finally grow your SaaS sales. I think you are watching this because you've been doing a couple of things and your MRR has never been growing. Okay, after this video, you will finally fix this. The first thing you want to figure out when you are doing SaaS sales is who is your ideal customer profile. It's impossible you close your first sale when you try to continually sell to everyone it, like it's impossible i tried with many products and it doesn't work like this you should identify who needs your product most badly who is this icp like ideal customer profile who is the one who is gonna purchase your product first if you are selling so software for marketing agencies you should go even more narrow than that for example marketing agencies based in sweden which have two to seven employees. Then you can create your list and start doing your lead generation. After you have your ideal customer profile figured out, you want to do lead generation. And basically this step is when 90% of products die because, well, they figured out how to do the code part, but now when it gets to scaling the business, here when it gets tricky because you have to combine your coding skills with your hustling skills. If you don't give up with your lead generation and you consecutively do lead gen day after day, I promise that in less than 60 days, you're gonna see your product grow and your pipeline is gonna be full. If you are doing a B2C product, I recommend you still onboard your first users through calls. I know no one wants to do cold calling, no one wants to uh, reach out, but look, you should overcome this because I've been there myself, hundreds of other founders been there themselves. Everyone hates selling, but you have to earn money. The only way for you to earn it is to overcome this barrier. The thing which helped me most when I had to reach out to unknown people was understanding that I do that to make their life better. Look at your product. I'm sure it serves people. It saves them time. It saves them money. It's going to benefit them. Have this in, in mind when reaching out to these randoms and writing your first message. If you are doing B2C, Think about onboarding your first users in subreddits, in Facebook groups, Twitter, and different big communities. This applies the same way for B2B SaaS, but for B2B SaaS, you can also go not only this community following approach, but also many emails approach. You open Phantom Buster, you open Hunter.io, and that's how, without connecting with people through LinkedIn, you get lots of emails and can reach out to them directly. Now, what you write in your first email or outreach message? You never sell in your first message. I'm sure you are under 50 paying users now. If this is the case, then you don't have a mature landing page. You don't have hundreds of testimonials yet. And most of the time people would check your product if there is the link you're giving it to, giving to them. They see the page, they're not excited, nothing is sexy, they leave and they ignore you because they understand that you're gonna be selling something to them. No one wants to be sold. Instead, what you do is in your subject line for B2B or at the start of your message for like Reddit, uh, Twitter and so, you don't sell, don't. Better make it personalized, um, try to combine different strategies, like go 100 messages, personalized ones and 100 non-personalized ones. See like what are response rates and understand whether it's worth to apply one method, which is like getting you better output or the other one. You want to break down a couple of things in your first message where you come from, how you want to help them, and what are the next steps. When person will understand that you found him in this Facebook group, or you also follow this subreddit, then you want to explain what you're doing and how you want to help them. Let's take this as an example for our first cold message. 
hey, I found your profile in this subreddit called SaaS, and now I'm building a product that will help SaaS platforms with more than 100 users build the right features. In your body, you explain to them that you faced difficulties and now you want to talk to people to understand what are the features that you should be building. And then you invite them to have a chat and see if they're open to this. Look, there are going to be many people who will be telling you that you should go away <laughs> and who will be mad at you for that. Please don't be discouraged. You will have dozens of such messages before you get your first 20 pain users. But in order to get 20 pain users, it takes 50 rejections. And I'm not even saying that it takes 2000 messages you should be sending to people. Invite them to the call. And in the call, you want to understand everything about them. Like, first of all, you should identify the goal of your call. Please do not be trying to sell in your calls. Turn it into an investigation game. Try to do research. Think that you are finding ways how you can serve marketing agencies better. This is when it gets much and much easier. Forget the closing part for now. For your first 5-10 calls, you just want to be having great conversations with people and learning as much as you can about them. With every single call you make, the next one is going to be getting easier. I promise you that after 10-15 calls, you will stop feeling panic when you join the Zoom or Google Meet. I've been there. In the call, you ask four to seven questions to understand their background and if your product would be beneficial for them without ever sharing your product yet. As you don't give them the product, they cannot give you the biased info and they cannot lie to you. And also, well, they get on the call more easily as there are like no sales to be made. You agree? Then you ask them these five, seven questions, figure out if they are the right fit for your product. And if you feel so, you just say, look, I appreciate your responses. You know, I'm building this product now and I really love to hear your feedback about that. You share your screen, show the product. If they are not excited, well, you move on. Life is not ended. Please don't be selling your product to people who don't need it and don't find any value in it. There are many more people who will and please don't waste your nerves and don't panic and don't shut up your startup like I did. <laughs> after you face a couple rejections. Before you figure out who are the real people who need your product, it will take you between 20 and 30 calls, and this is completely fine. In case they like your product, just tell them that your product costs this amount of money per month, but as they greatly helped you with research, they can get this special deal for three months access for this amount of money. Yes, you want to be converting people into some amount, on the call or after their seven day free trial if they push you into one. Even if you're working on a free product, it is really helpful to get this 5-10 pre-sales because this gives you great information on who needs your product. Don't try to sell to everyone and don't give up after facing a couple hundred rejections. If you consistently do lead generation and check different channels and don't give up on this for two months, I promise you that you will make a big move forward. And I will not be surprised if by the end of two months, your startup will, like your SaaS is already going to be generating five to 1000 MRR. I will be uploading many more videos to this channel soon. Like this video if you found value in it. And I will see you here in my next video. Thanks for watching.